Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Vanessa and I make travel, fashion, and lifestyle reviews. Today we're on an episode of Worldwide Bay and where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Los Cabos, Mexico. I'm so excited to take you guys on this trip. And first, let's look at the room that I was staying in. Apologies for this video being a little bit um, grainy, but I did shoot it on my phone and I shot it for Instagram. But here we are. We are in the bathroom, this huge bathroom, and we're walking to my favorite place, which is the closet. This was actually the first time I like unpacked my clothes and hung them up because I usually live out of a suitcase, but I brought so many clothes that I never really wore, but I just like the aesthetic of looking at my stuff like hanging up. And so we're gonna leave the closet and go back back into the bathroom it was huge and when we walk into this like little open shower thing we have a bathtub but I never took a bath I'm really sad about that but we also have these beautiful his and hers rainfall showers that were like oh my god the most perfect thing to take a shower in now this wasn't an all-inclusive stay so this bar you're seeing here we did not touch any of that because it probably would have been like five hundred dollars and ain't nobody got time for that but this is the rest of the room two TVs, a bed, a couch, and the most beautiful view in the entire world. Are you ready for the grand reveal? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at this. The furniture was one thing, the decor was another thing, but the view just tied it all together. And I actually had breakfast here a couple of times. It was amazing. Um, it's gonna like this little thing is gonna slide up and you're gonna see how it you couldn't even tell where we were it, it looked like we were in Greece but this room did come with like a hot tub pool situation and then you just like overlook the whole entire um, resort or hotel whatever it's called and the Pacific Ocean by the way this is the Viceroy Los Cabos I don't know if it's Viceroy or Viceroy but it was just amazing like just amazing like god is really good like look at all this look at all of this all this for me like what that is crazy i can't even take it So I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the rest of the hotel. Um, the topography, the landscaping, everything was beautiful. If you don't know, Los Cabos is on the Pacific Ocean, on the Pacific side um, of Mexico, meaning like the California side. And so um, the, the topography was just really different than what you would find in Cancun or Tulum or other sort of like hot spots in Mexico and so it, it kind of just made the whole place feel so much more luxurious the water everywhere made everything look so much more luxurious I mean it, these look like pools but they're really not you'll see the pools a little bit later on and in terms of safety and COVID-19 I felt so safe I felt you know just really like I had the whole place to myself. As you can see, everyone is wearing masks and this hotel has the capacity to probably house about a thousand people. And I would say there were probably no more than a hundred people in the entire facility, including lovely staff like this and patrons like ourselves. And so on some days, if you woke up early enough, it kind of felt like you had the whole place to yourself. Now, this over here is one of the pools. I think there are about four to five pools in the whole um, hotel. And, um, it just blended in seamlessly with the rest of the design. I think that whoever like just designed this hotel, the architect needs like a billion dollars. Cause this was like top of the line of pretty much any other place I've ever really been to. Um, as you can see, this guy here is like just cleaning out some of the stuff in the water. They were really, really, really good with cleaning and sanitizing. Like I will give them props for that. Like I said, I felt so safe and I solved, I just felt a lot more like secure and protected than I would in the States. Um, the hotel itself actually sits on a higher elevation than sea level. So what I'm doing right now is I'm walking down to the sea area and oh my goodness, it was a trek. <laughs> It's not for the faint of heart. So you, as you can see, I'm walking down and I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a little detour into the spa. So, you know, you can see what's happening over there. I did um, get a massage. I got a massage by the, by the sea. It's just something I do every time I go on vacation, but I didn't actually use the spa facilities. If you did want to use the spa facilities, however, um, they had a four person limit. So only four 
patrons can be in the entire spa the whole time. So I'm sort of just like walking through now. They have this little, um, not little, it's actually kind of big, but you know, just it looked like any other spa where you have the hydro facility. So um, I think that's hot, a hydrotherapy station. And on the other side, this kind of looks like a steam bath or something like that. And then over here, you have like massage tables, I'm guessing. I don't know who takes a massage like crooked like that. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really use any of these. I kind of regret it because it came included with, you know, my massage package. But there just wasn't enough time to do everything, y'all. There wasn't enough time. And I'm going to take a little peek into the locker room. Don't worry, there's no one in there. So it was completely, you know, I'm not disrespecting anyone's privacy, but... I came back out and this is sort of like the second pool area. These little things you see are actually villas. So they have um, hotel rooms and they have villas. Um, and they, these are two other pools. And then it's nighttime right now. So we are just having dinner. I had a uh, lobster spaghetti, I think that's what I had. And on this level, there's another pool. So I'm now look, overlooking the place at night. This is what the hotel looks like at night. So it's the next morning and I'm having breakfast and oh my God, the breakfast was so good. The food here was so good. Um, what I had was actually Japanese pancakes. They're so good. They are like cornbread without the corn. And here is the little beach area. And this is me on the, on the massage. So now we're heading over to our first activity. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get um, footage of the first activity because we were ATV riding in the desert. And, you know, there's just no way for me to take a video of that without, you know, dropping my phone. But there was tequila tasting and that was pretty good. Here is the second day, I think, or the third day. And we're heading to the next activity, which is jet skiing. You guys, pardon my hair. My wig really betrayed me on this trip. I don't even want to talk about it. But yeah, we're just on the car ride heading to the jet ski place. And now we're in Cabo San Lucas. So there's two Cabos. So there's Cabo San Jose del Cabo, which is like the bougier part, which is where we stayed. And then there's like Cabo San Lucas, which is the downtown area where a lot of the younger tourists go. And frankly it just has a little bit more activity so this is um the place where we went to go jet skiing and um this is like the downtown marina area i don't know if you can hear me hopefully you can right now i am at the place to jet ski you want to go jet skiing but you just have to wait a little bit if that's how things run here you gotta wait a little bit to do something yesterday we actually went um atv riding but we couldn't really tape any of it or take pictures because they took our phones for safety reasons but it's just so that they can make you buy their own stuff um but i'm actually glad i didn't have my phone because i got to fully enjoy the experience and also i am a thousand percent sure my phone would have flown out of my hand <laughs> during that ride we actually crashed our vehicle my whole life flashed before my eyes because if we hadn't stopped the car right when we did that atv would have flown right into the water so today we're going jet skiing. I am a little nervous because I've never gone jet skiing before. I can't swim, but I'm here to conquer this fear. And so we have to wait about 30 minutes until our tour activity starts. Um, so I'm just like kind of chilly. It's really hot today. I would love like a margarita or like a pina colada, but again, I'm doing an activity I've never done before. I'm not trying to do that inebriated. Um, at our hotel, um, apparently DeAndre Jordan is staying there. DeAndre Jordan is an NBA player. He, I think he plays for the Nets. I don't know. Please don't crucify me. <laughs> um, and I feel like there's so many NBA players in town. Um, just sitting here five seconds ago, there was a super tall guy that walked in. And I feel like you don't have any business being that tall if you're not a professional basketball player. So I don't know who he was. Um, I'm gonna see if he comes back again, if I can like ask around and find out, but so far so good. I've been having so much fun, just like sort of like relaxing. I feel like the days are so quick here, um, but I've just been relaxing and um, my phone's about to die, so I need to stop talking so that I have enough to capture later in the day, but um, I will check in with you guys later. Um, we're gonna go, obviously, like I said, do the jet skiing um, that involves like pictures a boat ride and then like some lunch and stuff after that so yeah see you guys later bye so this is just me being me on the boat to the jet skis um and it was just beautiful but
but there was a lady that was just bad vibes. Like if bad vibes was a definition, it would be this lady right here. Um, I actually thought I was gonna dead ski with myself, but I was too chicken when we got to the deep middle of the ocean. So I hopped on a ride because I was like, I am not doing this myself. I can't swim and I did not come to Mexico to die. But um, look at this, like look at the background. It is just so beautiful, it's so beautiful. Like. I can't even explain or put into words like what I, I mean, I was feeling a little scared, um, but I was also feeling like, wow, this is crazy. And also you have dolphins. When we came back, we we're waiting for a ride home. We saw little dolphins because um, there's also like, also like a dolphin show in this area. Um, what else did I want to say about this? That's it. Dolphins. Oh, wait, no, we did see whales. We saw whales and we saw um, baby dolphins in the ocean. It was crazy. So this is what the hotel looks like at night. Again, pardon the wig, but we're heading over to dinner. This was dinner. Yeah, um, that's enough about that, I guess. And the next day, I'm sort of just like lounging in the pool um, before heading to this sunset cruise. You guys, the sunset cruise is just like so romantic. If you have a partner, I definitely recommend that you go on this with them. Basically, you know, the boat wasn't really what I expected, but the experience was so worth it. Now, this boat belongs to Denzel Washington. Notice how there's a helicopter on the boat. This is like a cruise ship. It's not even a boat. <laughs> but later that night, we just decided to eat outside of the hotel. And so this is what the road outside the hotel looks like. And we had, um, what did I have? I think I had pasta or something. But I was, I was tired of Mexican food. I was tired of the tacos. And so, um, yeah, I just had food. And then the next morning, it was time to go. It was time to go. But I did manage to sneak in a little lunch, uh, a little um, breakfast with this view one last time. Just because like, I couldn't say, I couldn't say no. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a quick one, but I just really wanted to show you guys what it's like, you know, traveling during these times. I know it's crazy and everyone is sort of like panicking, but I felt really safe and I would 100% do it again. I honestly feel like the rest of the world is just like taking better care of this COVID situation than the United States. But, you know, until next time.